Welcome for your five minute trigger instruction on how to set up your trigger for your next trade show. First of all, Vince is going to grab the four feet located on the floor. And as we unpack the bag, we showed those feet to you. So Vince positions the feet approximately a few feet apart. And now he's going to go for the bottom poles. Now, there's top poles and bottom poles. The easy way to tell the difference is the bottom poles have the clasp towards the bottom of them. So he's going to align the slotted key to go in the bottom of the foot. And with the simple turn of the right hand in the right hand direction or the clockwise direction, he quickly and effort effortlessly secures the feet to the upright poles. Now securing pole number two. He goes over for poles number three and four. Okay. These are the bottom, uh, the bottom rails. And um, they insert from the bottom up. Notice the way he pulls up. The trigger is a tension system, and it, it, uh, as it is assembled, it tightens itself up. So that's the number two going in. And number three. Okay, now Vince is going to be securing the top pole. This will bring it up to its height of uh, eight feet. The same method, there's the key groove for it to slide into, and also the turning to the right will, by your hand, will secure it firmly in place. Now the fourth, now we're up to our full height. Vince is now going to grab a stool, you can use a chair, whatever you need to put the next top rail on. They go on just like the uh, bottom ones, except they're going to insert from the top. So technically it's upside down from where the, the bottom one looks. There's the first one. And the second one just pops right on again from the top, pulling down. And the last one. Now the final thing, the, the final structure part, has to be put, put on the, uh, the graphic rails. The graphic rails. Now there's little clips, and we'll, we'll zoom in on those, but those little clips just fit in the little slots at the bottom. Gravity kind of holds them in. There's the second one, and now the third one. Okay, the bottom three are in. Now Vince is going to use his uh, apparatus again and get up there. Slide those in from the top down. Again, they're all in perfect alignment. Notice in the center there, they're, they're just barely touching. All right, so this is uh, one of your graphics. This is for one of your new products called Zen. There's a top and the bottom, and within the, uh, within the graphic itself, there's a piece of um, plastic that's been sewn in that causes some rigidity, and it causes it also to fall right into the groove. So he's going to work from one side to the other side. He's now turning over it and tucking the trigger strip, we call it, into the uh, rail there. If you're working your show and you have two people, it's a little bit easier uh, hanging the graphic, but you can see with a little uh, practice, one person can do it. And the top is all in, just about. It's just a matter of a little tuck and roll right in the groove. 
smooth it all the way across. All right, nice job, Vince. So moving back over to the left side where he started, he's repeating the process, but from the bottom. He's turning the edge around and tucking it in the rail groove. In addition to uh, this uh, YouTube production, we also have uh, a set of written instructions that will be in every bag. Once it's all in position, the last and very final thing to um, make the trigger stretch tight is there's little release buttons at the top and the bottom there. And it's kind of like firing a trigger. You see it as he pushes the button, you can slowly see the graphic pull taunt across the bottom. So now he's firing the top, top ones. Okay, and there you have it. Within a matter of a few minutes, your discus trigger display is all set and ready to go. Thank you, Vince.